should be able to leave Great Ormond Street Hospital to die. The lawyer for Charlie's parents said they found a doctor who would be willing to look after him if his final days were spent away from hospital. A drive towards cleaner air, the sale of new petrol and diesel cars will be banned from 2040. We have to get rid of petrol. We're going to make sure not only that we deal with the health problems that air pollution causes, but also that we meet our climate change targets. President Donald Trump says the U.S. government will not accept transgender individuals to serve in any capacity in the U.S. military, citing what he calls tremendous medical costs and disruption. Also in the next hour, huge wildfires in the south of France. Thousands of people, including many British holidaymakers, have been moved to safety to escape the flames. The Supreme Court rules that charging to bring an employment tribunal case is unlawful. The government says it will now refund claimants' fees. And the brother of Diana, Princess of Wales, says he still has nightmares about what he calls the harrowing experience of her funeral. Good afternoon. Welcome to BBC News. A lawyer for the parents of terminally ill baby Charlie Gard has told the High Court that they had found a doctor willing to look after Charlie so the family could spend time with him away from hospital during the last days of his life. The fate of the 11-month-old has been the subject of a bitter court dispute between his parents and the London Hospital where he is being treated. Our correspondent Lisa Hampley is at the High Court and it's appearing to be bitter right to the end. Absolutely. The family are just going back into the courtroom. The court's been adjourned for more than an hour now. It was adjourned because we're awaiting a doctor who says he can head up a team that can help the family have Charlie for longer, at, not at home anymore. The family, have, it appears, have given up this fight. Life has been given a new lease of life. Well, I'm not that artistic, really, but it gives you good idea of things that you can try and do, you know, with old bits of furniture. We've got a profitable pair, but Sarah wants a full house. You have got about 13 kilometres of lovely promenade here. You can walk along the coast. We like a mission sometimes, but we do it especially by the sea. There's something just so relaxing about walking by the sea. The place we're going to look at is just under a mile away. Mm. Look, John, mate. Mm -hmm. And you sleep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're off to the complex of Casares del Sol. 
This popular development of 180 properties could be ideal for our community-minded couple, as half of its owners are full-time residents. And with three-bedroom apartments averaging at around £137,000, it's also comfortably... You have communal fees. You're looking at just under £138 a month here. Seems quite a lot. Yeah. But looking around, I'm thinking, well, I can see why. What a great first reaction. I only hope our couple still have smiles on their faces when they see the property itself. Now, we are actually looking at a ground floor apartment, three bedrooms. The police warning after a woman was raped as she walked home on a night out. If you are going out for the evening, take a hedge. The man you're going to get home. Go with somebody who calls Wow, I think the reality of making such an momentous life change is really beginning to hit home for Janice and Stephen. So I'm hoping that they like this nine year old ground floor apartment. As well as the pool and gardens, it's also had a private back patio with pleasant garden views and room for one of Stephen's barbecues. Inside is a large and light built living and dining room with a separate kitchen, off of which is an utility area. The master bedroom is spacious and has an ensuite, while the two guest bedrooms are good sized doubles and share the same time with the family bar. change things a bit, add a bit more colour, um, but I mean, what a lovely black and white, white. <laughs> no, it doesn't get a say.